Greetings. Uh, I'm your instructor Yasir Amir Khan, and I would be delivering the lecture on uh, the sliding mode control. And uh, we would be talking about a few examples, worked problems on sliding mode control. So let us suppose that we are given a system. It's a second order system x1 equals to it's the derivative of x1 equals to x2 and x2 derivative equals to x1 plus x2 square plus sine of x plus the control u our controller would be a sliding mode controller and we take u as u equivalent plus u discontinuous u equivalent is the control that would be there when these trajectories are on the sliding surface u discontinuous continuous is the discontinuous part of the control we define it as minus k sine of s where s is our sliding surface or sliding manifold we define our sliding manifold as this E is the error. Now let us take this error as x1 minus x1 desired. If our desired xd is 0, then E would be equal to x1 and we would be taking this x1 to 0. And lambda is some positive constant. So the sliding surface would be derivative of e plus lambda e or the sliding surface would be derivative of x1 plus lambda times x1 and this is our sliding surface the derivative of the sliding surface would be now let us see that this we can write it as x2 plus lambda x1 and the derivative of the surface would be x2's derivative plus lambda times x1's derivative. This is the derivative of the sliding surface. During the sliding mode, the control is said to be equal u is equal to u equivalent. The sliding mode has occurred. If u is u equivalent, and in that case, the derivative of the sliding variable is to zero. Using that, we have s dot derivative equals to zero, and therefore we have x two's derivative plus lambda x one equals to zero. Substituting the from the state equations into this equation, we have the u is u equivalent. Here, from here, we get the equivalent control that is u equivalent, and it turns out to be minus x1 minus x square minus sine of x minus lambda x2. This is our u equivalent and along with this we have the discontinuous part minus k sine of s both controls u equivalent plus u discontinuous make the required control law that will bring the origin of this uh, that will bring the trajectories of this given system to zero in the finite amount of time now let us show this thing by Lyapunov's method. We define the Lyapunov variable as half s square and its derivative would be s in s derivative so that v is equal to s into the derivative of s. We have this over there. We put it over here. We put the equivalent control in that. We have x2 derivative plus lambda x1 derivative and we substitute everything into it we have the state equations here we have the and uh, we have 
the complete control now we have to put the complete control that is this u not just u equivalent because uh, we would not be providing just u equivalent to the system we would be providing the complete control which has the discontinuous part as well as the equivalent so when we put the this equivalent control in the system state equations over here everything will get cancelled out and the only thing that will be left with u discontinuous then let us see that we have s then we put x1 plus x2 square plus sine of x plus complete u plus lambda times x2 we put instead of u this complete u u equivalent plus u discontinuous this is u equivalent you can see that all the terms will cancel out all the terms over here mm -hmm. will be equal to s into minus k sine of s now if you look at it for s not equal to 0 this will be negative definite that is when s is negative sign would be positive this minus sign will make it when s is negative the sign would be negative this negative sign will make it positive and the result would be v de the derivative would be negative and when s is positive the sign would be positive this minus sign will again make it negative and s again be negative so when the when s is not equal to zero the derivative is negative definite which means that the trajectories will move towards the sliding surface and once on the sliding surface uh, they will move towards the origin so this means that this given con control can bring the system to uh, make the state variables x1 x2 to zero